Hello everyone. Welcome to ACC channel. Hello everyone. Welcome to KCC channel. Today we are going to discuss about a very upcoming state which is a very vibrant state of India that is Maharashtra. Aptly, as it is called the Gateway of India, it is one of the India's biggest commercial and industrial centers. It has played a significant role in the country's social and political life. Maharashtra is India's leading industrial state contributing 13% of the national industrial output. Almost 46% of the GSDP is contributed by industry. It has software parks in many cities around the state and is the second largest exporter of software with annual exports of over 80,000 crores. Maharashtra is renowned for the production of three-wheelers, jeeps, commercial vehicles and cars, synthetic fibers, coal road products and industrial alcohol. Small-scale industries have also come up in a big way in the state. The government has in initiated and has established Maharashtra Industrial Development Corporation, which provides with infrastructure such as land, roads, water supply, drainage facilities, etc. Now, what are the project opportunities that are available in Maharashtra. First and foremost is the automotive sector. Maharashtra accounts for approximately 33% of the country's output and uh, it is, uh, it is uh, which is stated, uh, which is slated in the automobile clusters in the state of Pune, Nasik, Aurangabad, Nagpur, it is the leading producer of heavy and commercial vehicles in the country. Auto and auto ancillaries contribute to 9% of the Maharashtra industrial output. It has a strong skilled labor base supporting the automotive industry. Now next comes the food and agro sector. Food and agro sector is reaching its topmost position in the country because Maharashtra is leading in the agricultural development. The state has achieved many innovative industrial agroventures, the sugar cooperative and cooperatives for cultivating and marketing, including exports of grapes, mangoes, strawberries, etc. Wide availability of varied horticulture produce due to varied range of climate and soil conditions offers tremendous scope to flourish state's processing industry to increase the processing and value addition from present 1.5 percent which has reached up to 35 percent of the total produce next comes the textile sector maharashtra contributes to about 10.10 percent of india's textiles and apparels output Cotton is available in bulk in Maharashtra, which is one of the key factors that have established the state to establish a competitive edge. Vidarbha region has a predominant cotton production, while western region is famous for spinning mills. The major clusters of Maharashtra for the industry are Kolhapur, Mumbai, Nagpur, Nashik, Pune, Sangli, Satara, and the list goes on and on. The state has witnessed 122 major textile projects with an investment of about 224 million US dollars. Next in line is the information technology industry, which is the favorite of all. Considering Maharashtra's strengths in terms of human resources, connectivity and infrastructure and special significance of information technology for generating employment, increasing efficiency and improving the quality of life, the state government announced its first policy in 1998. It was followed by the IT and IT enabled services policy in 2003, which provided comprehensive support for the further development of this sector in Maharashtra. Next comes the biotechnology industry. The state has an excellent inf intellectual infrastructure through nearly 1,000 institutions 
it produces around 163,000 technical personnel each year. The, the state has already set up specialized parks for different sections including IT. The bio-industrial enterprises cannot sustain its themselves unless they are backed by a highly trained and skilled human resources. Some of the best centers of excellence in India that are present in Maharashtra do precisely that. Last but not the least is the waste management. There are about 250 urban local bodies in Maharashtra which comprise 23 municipal corporations, 220 municipal councils and uh, many cantonment boards and nagar panchayats. Per capita MSW generation in various towns of the state ranges from 100 to 600 grams per day. For class 1 cities in Maharashtra, the waste generation rates are in the range of 14 to 63 k per kg per capita per day, which includes Mumbai having the highest range of 0.63 kg per capita per day. Maharashtra which is located in the western part of India is really a significant contributor to the economy. It boasts of cities such as Mumbai, Pune and Nagpur which play a huge role in strengthening the Indian economy. Maharashtra is more advanced in comparison to other states in terms of infrastructure. It is well connected within the state and also with the other states in the country through a combination of rail, road and airlines. It has a great intra-city intra link of railways. The majority of Maharashtrians use this mode of transport for traveling. So, I hope you like the video regarding the state of Maharashtra. And it is inviting all the industrialists, all the businessmen to itself to come there and prosper and create more and more wealth for everyone. You can follow us for more business ideas in other growing places in India. Stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.